Hey, Motor Man here. And I want to wish everybody, all my subscribers, all my viewers, a very Merry Christmas. And I want to tell you, I was planning on doing a, a writing video today where I talk to you and tell you about what I'm about to tell you now. But it's 29 degrees here. And I realize some places up north is 29 below zero. So we're still okay. No snow here. But I, a lot of people ask me about what exactly do I tell riders when they're making mistakes, when they're screwing up, etc. And sometimes some of you even said, you know, I'm yelling at the riders. I'm not yelling at them. I have to yell or speak loudly so they can hear me because they're on motorcycles. Sometimes I use a PA system, which you get that echo effect. So I, I don't use it very much. But anyway, that's what we're going to go over today. I'm going to show you exactly what I tell riders when they're making a mistake because I think it'll be helpful to you. And if you don't have any of my Ride Like a Pro experience videos or any of my other the videos you probably haven't heard about this but you can still get them even by christmas day because we have them all in download so you could download it watch it today make sure you download the practice guide it's free so let's get on with this you're looking right down at the cone in front of you yeah and you're going so slow you can't possibly tip the motorcycle so you got to pick up the speed you got to keep your head and eyes up and look way down the further ahead you look the easier it is okay right? thank you You're at idle. Idle's no good. Yeah. Bring that revs up. Slip yeah. that clutch. You gotta slip that clutch. You gotta look ahead. You need to go to that green cone and then snap your head and look over here. You looked at all the other cones but where you wanted to go. This rider's fear level was so high, I knew that sooner or later, well, the bike was going to go down, and sure enough. He was at idle, not enough power to the rear wheel, down goes the motorcycle. I then decided that maybe he was just afraid of dropping his own motorcycle, so I put him on this Sportster to see if it made any difference. Unfortunately, as you'll see, it did not. After a couple of more drops, I advised this rider that this class was too advanced that he need to go to beginner course and get the basics down and then come back. He never did. When you get to that green cone, yeah. you snap your head and eyes and look between these two green cones. Okay. Now this rider, on the other hand, heeded my advice. He's practiced prior to coming to the class. He has an extremely low fear level and he's able to whip through each exercise as if he'd been doing it all his life. The other riders, with a high fear level, it's going to take longer, but you got to get out and practice. If you never come back to the class and you never practice, well, it's not going to change. The further out you start, the easier it's going to be. In other words, you're coming in a little closer. Than okay. First so start, start six, further out to the side. Out, okay. And, and that gets you into that different motion. Sooner. Okay. All right. Got it. You're stealing my cone. Shoplifter security. He is determined to get that big BTX through here. And I think he can do it. He has no fear. Half, halfway. 
because this writer is determined to make it through this, what most people consider the most difficult exercise, and on his fourth try, he finally does it. No quit in this guy. Plus, he practiced with a friend who was familiar with the techniques prior to coming to the class. That makes a big difference. The more you practice, the better you're going to get and the less fear you have. And he does it. Beautiful. A good instructor has to be able to recognize exactly what the writer is doing wrong and has to be able to communicate to that writer how to correct the problems. Get yourself a copy of my Ride Like a Pro Experience video and you'll have everything you need to know both for yourself and if you're helping somebody else become a skilled rider. Still just 20 bucks at RideLikeAPro.com. You can get it in DVD or in download.